Hey, dear friends, brothers, sisters, all around this globe here. It's the 31st of October here in Germany. Um, and we are celebrating Reformation Day, the day when Martin Luther in 517 uh, put his theses <laughs> at this church store in Wittenberg, meaning that he rediscovered every, after years of struggling and, and fighting with himself and, and well, also um, fearing God to death, literally, he had this liberating <laughs> recovery in the Bible, in the Old New Testament, in the words of the Apostle Paul that stood there for 1,500 years already, but nobody talked about it. In these days, the church was making a big business by the fears of people, telling them they can sell, uh, buy a document. We call it Ablasbrief, a letter, <laughs> a, certif a certificate maybe, yes, that you can pay for your sins and then you go to heaven or instead of going to the purgatory or hell. So, I mean, I know the ancient a pagan Celtic or Celtic tradition of, of Halloween is celebrated also in Europe for about the past 30 years. Before that, it came to America by Irish migrants. Uh, and they mix it up with, okay, Catholic traditions of, uh, um, how do you call this? Allerheiligen, I don't know the English word for it. All uh, hell is really... All Saints, I don't know, no, Allerheiligen, Allerseelen, All Saints Day, I think. But uh, what's remaining is still that the background of Halloween was that Celtic, back in the days, long time ago, were superstitious, and they believed they, that the Druids had to, to choose mostly the youngest daughter of the family to be sacrificed to the... Uh, evil spirits, or call it demons, whatever, uh, to calm them down for another year. So it was a bloody thing. Okay, nowadays it's just about sour or sweet. But I, for me, as a Christian believer, I don't want to judge anybody. It's, it's nice and funny to see the little children, their costumes and everything. Um, but I think, well, in Europe especially, it became big deal for the industry, carnival industry, and also for the, uh, well, those who sell sugar stuff and <laughs> sweet stuff and candy and all that. Well, but I, for me, it's much sweeter as a Christian rock and roll preacher to say, hey, I am loved by God, and you are too. Everybody is, yeah? And he paid the highest price. He came down as one of us, as a human being in Jesus, Yeshua Minasaret. We later become Yeshua Mashiach. Or he was it already, but people didn't notice. Some of his Jewish siblings, well, uh, accepted him already. And, and yeah, saw he was the Messiah, the Christ. Some others are still waiting for the Messiah, but we all will see him someday, and it will be a happy day. And it's always a great day to start it with him. He was with me and with all of you, knowingly or not. And that's why I wish you Shalom. Not Happy Halloween. I wish you Shalom. Happy Reformation Day. May your hearts, our hearts, be reformed to God's love. May we all celebrate in heaven later. I don't know, some people <laughs> don't believe this, and some others, um, yeah, I have a little weird imagination of what heaven is. I'm not talking about, I don't know, the clouds and the skies and everything and, and having wings. It's about celebrating life that's not harmed by death, by destruction, by hatred, by anything. It's the godly, divine light and life in the love of Jesus Christ. And that's what I really wish you all. God bless you fairly. Ciao.